Dude, the map is totally useless. It's terrible how bad it is. Like, you're, you made a triple-A game. Make the things work. This is to all of the developers who make AAA games. Don't rush your game. Take as long as you need to make a game. Work on the balance of the game, too. The armor system is bad in this game. The armor, I can't stand it, dude. The armor and health system is terrible, and I can't stand it. And these guys are the most annoying piece of crap ever. There's really no excuse for this this type of stuff, man. None. AAA game, like, you're supposed to be good at what you do, but this is disappointing. Like, I was looking forward to this game being good and being fun. Not something where there were world tiers and, and trying to... And I'm not complaining. This is technically a review. Like, I'm on World Tier 6 right now because I had to lower it because I couldn't kill one of the, the beasts. And then I had to lower it to World Tier 4 in order to beat one of the bosses. It doesn't make any sense. If you're going to have a World Tier system, make it so we get actually good items to pick up for that world, you know? Don't make it so freaking difficult that we're going to rage and not want to play your game. That doesn't work. People will stop playing your game and stop watching it on Twitch if you keep doing that. There are people who love this game. This game is amazing for what it is. It's a great idea. Execution wasn't so good. Like, look at this guy. World Tier 6. He should be taking way more damage than what, what he's taking right now. Look at that area! Look at that area I couldn't even get out of. It trapped me. Like, I understand, like, there's mini-bosses and stuff, but come on, man. Like, I might actually rip this off of Twitch and make it into an actual review, man. I expect my anomaly powers to be even more powerful than my guns. Oh my god, dude. See? You see what I'm talking about? I couldn't get out of there in time. Like, what? what is this dude? Why, why is he so strong? And why was he able to bump me out of cover right there? Like, I'm loving the healing system, but it doesn't really help when when you have an enemy who's, like, slow walking towards you and, t is, and is this much of a bullet sponge. That ish is not balanced. That, that's bad. This is bad. This fight should not take this long. Look at these drops, dude. They're so bad. What the freak? Give me something good. What? This should be an epic variant for the world tier that I'm on. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not, I'm not, oh. Anyways, my ramble is over. I, I don't mean to complain. Like I said, this game pisses me off with its world tiers and how little you get any good weapons. It just doesn't make sense to me. And in conclusion, I want to say this about this game. I give this game a fair 6 out of 10. A fair 6 out of 10 for gameplay. Story-wise, it's a 5. The story did not intrigue me. It's not intriguing me. It's, it's boring. There's nothing interesting happening. There's no action cutscenes. It's mediocre. And the, I was excited for this game, and I really liked it when it first came out. All right, don't get me wrong on that. But playing the story later on and getting through the world tiers, I'm very disappointed. Man, I wish I knew how to code. I wish I knew how to do all this stuff because I would literally go into game code and fix everything. Because you know how Rockstar has, has these loading screen issues? And there was a guy who fixed the loading screens. He was a modder. 
and literally Rockstar paid him ten thousand dollars for it. Yeah. Imagine they should have given him a job and it shouldn't have taken over seven, eight or nine years for someone to come up with a better solution for their loading screens. Anyways, that was my review. And I'm telling you, I'm pretty mad that I bought this on PC and no one warned us that it was coming out on, on Game Pass. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it on PC.